So here we're going to take a look at the new variable collect feature. The first thing we're going to do is create a very simple simulation with just the four main objects. And we're going to add another queue at the top of our activity, which will represent a storage area. So this is the queue that's going to be pulled in at variable amounts based on what work items are traveling through that activity at the time. So we'll go ahead and just name this component storage. And we're going to give it a startup value so that we can see the, the work items sort of drain from this queue. So we'll just give it a startup value of 100 work items. So now we're going to set up the variable collect feature itself. So we can go into the activities routing in and choose the collect option. Now you can't see it instantly, but we'll open this more tab and then you'll see a new checkbox for label and sheet. So we'll go ahead and select this. The first thing we need to do is select a label that's going to be used to drive this feature. We don't have one yet, so we can create a new label directly from this. In this, we're going to choose a variable amount of work item based on the initial work item's product type. Next, we'll set up a spreadsheet to use, and since we don't have one, we'll create one, and we will call this the component mix. So that's us telling the feature what label and what spreadsheet to use. Now we actually need to populate that spreadsheet. So we can select the View button, and you'll see that a spreadsheet is automatically formatted for us. So the first thing we want to do is put in what types of products that we're going to have through our system, and that's our label value. So we're going to have a product type of 1, 2, and 3. And they're all going to collect one work item from the, the leading queue. And from the component storage there, you can see that we're collecting a variable amount based on what the work item's product type is. So that's our variable collect rule set up. We're just going to edit the label value for our product type. So we can do this with the actions at our start point. You can see our product type label there. And since we're just showing a basic example, we are going to make this a rounded uniform distribution between 1 and 3, meaning there's a 33% chance it's going to be either 1, 2, or 3. So now we can step through our simulation. Notice how the queue is draining at variable amounts, and this is because different product types are entering into that activity, therefore it's referencing the spreadsheet and choosing how many to collect. We can take a look at this in a bit more detail by stepping through the simulation instead of running it. So if we look at the current work item in activity one, we can see it's a label product type of two. And if we reference back to our spreadsheet, we can see that that, that was to collect 10. The next work item that is in the queue is product type one. So we should see that storage queue drain by five. And you can see it has. So again, by using the combination of the labels and the spreadsheet, we're able to build up a matrix of how many work items that we want to take from storage based on what the leading label value is. We can get a bit more in depth with this as well. Let's take a look at duplicating one of these storage bins and then how we can modify the spreadsheet to update it so that's also using variable collect. So we're going to go back into our activity, select the View button from the routing in, and it brings up our component mix spreadsheet again, which was the spreadsheet that we used to control our variable collect. So I can go ahead and add a note on which new storage that I've added to this, and I can put in the values. In this example, only product type 3 is going to take any sort of work items from our new component storage. And if we run the simulation, you can see that certain work items will pass through the activity and not even touch component storage 2. That's because, again, we've said that only product types 3 will take five pieces at a time from our component storage 2.